All right, so Saxon course two, lesson 20, is on exponents, rectangular area, part one, and square root. So I need to simplify these numbers. So if I have four squared, the exponent here tells me how many times I'm going to multiply the number by itself. So I'm gonna multiply four by itself, well, it's gonna do it two times. So it's gonna be four times four, which is equal to 16. Now don't get confused, it's not four times two, okay, that's wrong. It's four times four. You have to multiply it by itself. So the next one, two, third, two to the third power is equal to two times two times two, which is equal to eight. And the last one, 10 to the fifth power is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 which is 100,000. With, with D, we have 2 thirds squared. So 2 thirds squared is 2 thirds times 2 thirds. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. I'm going to rewrite it over here where there's more room. 2 thirds times 2 thirds. 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 3 is 9. So my answer is 4 ninths. And here I just want me to simplify, simplify this problem. So 4 squared minus 2 to the third power. So you do your powers first. 4 squared minus 2 to the third power. So 4 squared is equal to 16. And I'm going to subtract 2 to the third power which is 8. 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. Okay, this one wants me to find the missing exponent in each equation. So for A, you're trying to find the mixing exponent in the in of the product. Okay, so we need to figure out what each of these mean. So 2 to the third power times 2 to the third power. So that equals 2 third power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. And then I'm multiplying that by another 2 to the third power times 2 to the third power. And that is equal to 2 multiplying 2 times 2 times 2. And that equals 2 to the nth power. Okay. So I need to figure out what the exponent is. And remember, the exponent tells me how many times I multiply 2 by itself. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. So my answer is going to be 2 to the 6th power. 6 is my answer. Okay. On this next one, it's 2 to the 6th power divided by 2 to the 3rd power equals 2n. So for this one, it's saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, okay, because that's 2 to the 6th power is the same as that, divided by... 2 to the third power, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, if I have the same number on the top and the bottom, I can go ahead and cancel. So the 2's cancel and become 1's because 2 divided by 2 is 1. These ones cancel and become 1's, and these ones cancel and become 1's. So I'm left with 2 times 2 times 2 over 1. So that is equal to 2 and again, I'm looking for that nth power. So I have 1, 2, 3. It's going to be 2 to the third power. That's my answer. This next part is finding the area of a rectangle. When you're finding the area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. So my length is going to be the longest side, and that's 5. And I'm going to multiply it by the width, which is 3. So for this shape, it equals 5 times 3, which is the same as 15 inches squared. Area, we always square the inches. Okay. The perimeter of a certain square is 12 inches. What is the area of the square? So first, I need to figure out how long each side of my square is. So if my perimeter is 12, I'm going to do 12 divided by 4 to figure out the length of one side, of each side. 
So 12 divided by 4 is 3. So I know that each side of my square is 3 inches long. So to find the area, area again is length times width. So I'm going to multiply 3 inches by 3 inches, which is equal to 9 inches squared. Okay, here we have Dickerson Ranch is a level plot of land 4 miles square. The area of Dickerson's Ranch is how many square miles? When it says 4 miles square, that means the length of one side is 4 miles. And since it's a square, it's telling me that this is going to be a square. Okay. So, here's his plot of land that's a beautiful square. That means each side is 4 miles. Find the area, again, length times width, so that's 4 times 4, which is equal to 16 miles squared. All right, this last part of the lesson is with square roots. Now, the square root is doing the opposite of a square. So if I have the square root of 121, I'm looking for what n two numbers multiply, or what number multiplies by itself to equal 121. Okay. So if I think about it, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So I know my answer is not going to be 10. It has to be bigger. So we're going to try 11. So 11 times 11 is equal to 121. Now these two numbers have to be the same if it's a square root. Because remember, with squares, it, has to, it means it's multiplying by itself. So the square root of 121 is equal to 11. To double check, you're going to do 11 squared to see if you get 121. So 11 times 11 is equal to 121. So that's correct. So my answer for that one is 11. Well, the second one, it says the square root of 8 squared. Since square root... Since the square root is the inverse operation of finding a square, they cancel each other out. The square root cancels out this squared. So my answer is just going to be 8. If you're not sure, you can always do it. What it's asking for is the square root of 64, which is equal to 8. So if you have a square root and a squared in the same problem, they cancel each other out, and you're left with just the number as your answer. And that's it for this lesson.